All right, this is Mark Farrar from Not Square Design. Uh, I've got my new 3D connection mouse, uh, space mouse, that arrived yesterday. It doesn't work in recap. Um, you can only zoom in and zoom out. But even in AutoCAD or whatnot for anything I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to use it yet because I'm not very good at it. It's going to take some practice. Anyway, what I'm here for is to show you real quick just how to reduce these file sizes um, to a manageable size for just the information you want to bring in. I know this is really hard to read, and I don't know how to do Zoom yet. I'm not a super knowledgeable video maker. Um, but if I look at the properties of my support folder, I'm at 6.1 gigabyte. And then I've got, um, oh, about two gigabyte of information in the RCP file. So what I'm going to do is it is already open, but just to, to show that, um, we are really using it. I'm going to go and double click on this RCP file, which will overwrite and reopen in here. And so you can see, I'm not going to worry about saving it. And there it is opening up nice and raw. Um, so first things first, let's just get to the top view. Then kind of zoom in. Right now I'm going to just show you how to do, um, this got three basic rooms in this main portion. And then we've kind of nicknamed this one room four, just for project purposes. So I'm going to window it. I'm just going to come down here, go up, and you can see down here, um, I've got, uh, making sure I get everything in there, because sometimes these aren't perfectly straight. And I want all the information I'm after. And that looks pretty darn good. Um, now that I've got that, I'm going to clip outside. And this is how simple it is. I'm going to go over to here and choose this second one, which says Export. I'm going to export that, and I've got a folder set up, Room 4 Lesson, and so in here, I'm just going to call it Room 4 Lesson, um, and that's that. Hit Save. Now, here's the important part. Right here, Unify Scan Data. To make this thing small, let's go. Unify my scans, my project scans. So when I click that, um, depending on your computer speed, this might take a little bit of time, but um, my machine's pretty fast, so I can even hang out during this process. And then all I'm going to do is um, roll over to the other screen and just show you the size of the result. And then you can bring that right into AutoCAD or whatever you'd like. So back over here... Um, Gonna go to my recap, my lesson four. You can see it's uploading or to the cloud, <clears throat> so it's just created. This is down to three KB for my RCP file, and then uh, again, hard to read, but I'll read it to you. This is down to 325 megabytes for that support folder, and just to show you. Um, if I come back over here, and let's say we just look at this view. Zoom in, and you can see this is all the information's here for that portion of the building, but I have significantly reduced the size of what I need to import into AutoCAD to work on this building. Um, in this case, what I'm really looking for is just how far is it from this wall to this wall back here. If you've worked with these scans, it's hard to measure in 3D because you get different points on the cloud that are in different 3D space. And so to do that, I probably would take it and make a really tiny thin slice right through here um, and just do another clipping. And, you know, just maybe call that uh, the outside. So I just have my window command up. Um, I'm kind of guess. I don't want to hit a window. So because I'm looking for wall information, and there's a garage door on the other side too. And I can do something even just that that small, clip outside, 
and then just go through the same process of export. Oop, I missed. Um, hit escape. Can't hit escape. Uh, suspend the project. Uh, I don't know what that exactly meant, but at any rate, <laughs> I have to reopen, go back in, create that little guy, and I'll end up with this little tiny, tiny file. Oh, it's right here still. Okay, so sorry, I just missed. Ah, did it again. Suspend, suspend, escape. Uh, not escape, I just clicked on the screen, and now I've got it. There's my export, and let's just call it um, room for north to south slice. I'm kind of interested myself to see just how small this guy turns out. And I'm going to hit save, unify my scans further. And this time, um, even though it's, oh, it's really fast. So now you can see just by going into here um, that I have really limited information um, for what I've got to do here. And it's just a paper thin slice. But if I'm trying to get something from here to here and I do want to measure my distance right here in my point cloud, um, like I said, it, it's, it's really difficult, you know, looking at your Z, um, I'm five and seven eighths high. I can come down now I'm at seven. It's kind of weird as to now I'm at one and a quarter and you can look at the X is up by three eighths. So I'm probably pretty close there. So 37 and a half feet ish and just exactly what point I'm grabbing. I'm not real sure, but bringing it into AutoCAD, putting some X lines on it real quick on just those ends by working in that right plane and you can get those pretty darn close. And so um, real quick, just going to jump back over and look at this guy. I'm going to my slice folder. It's still just 3 KB for the RCP file, um, but properties on this have gone down to 2.95 for the support folder and that's where most of your information is maintained so um, really quick dirty way just to get things down in size and um, I hope that uh, this helps a lot of you out because I have struggled with this you can see all of the different files that I've created and these are just full there's there's tons tons more inside 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 of me trying to figure out the best way to do this. So that's what I've learned. Hope it helps the rest of you. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you're at. See you next time.